Hello, my materialistic minions. It's me, Bo Shevisu. I am right outside the local police department, and we are testing our top three disposable handcuffs, because safety is in our top five. Now, these zip tie handcuffs you've probably seen before, but there's also this incredibly innovative model, and I haven't really tested any of these before, but there's this one that's actually a rope. And I've looked up some YouTube videos on some pros and cons, but I've never actually seen a video where they show all three of these models together. So come with us on this video review and determine which one is best for you and your needs. This fine gentleman is taking a small part of his day to show how we might actually put handcuffs on someone for your own edification. So the first one that we have up is this one right here. I'm gonna put the links below so you can look at other reviews as well. And you will notice when we actually hold these side by side, these loops are actually smaller than these loops. You know, if you've got little skinny wrists like mine, this will fit through no problem. But if you've got some thicker, you know, gorilla type wrists, definitely go for something like this. And he's gonna go ahead and pop them on. All right. There, there. You know, you've seen those YouTube videos, right? Where people put it together and just break out of these. And I'm not gonna be able to break out of these. Now, one of the big things I wasn't sure about was would, would a crazy person be able to tighten these things? You know, as you well know, with conventional handcuffs, you can double lock them so they don't tighten, but these only tighten in one direction. And so I'm gonna try my best to tighten these and then complain later, he put them on too tight. But I really can't do that. I can't even get them clicked one time. So, so far they're fairly comfortable. They're not digging in like conventional metal handcuffs. I could sit comfortably uh, in, in a vehicle or something like that. that. That's quite nice. So in order to get out of these guys, obviously they are disposable handcuffs, meaning that there's no key to these things. And if you think you can Houdini these by sliding in a bobby pin or a safety pin, good luck. I can barely figure out how to get one finger on the locking mechanism. These might not actually be able to push these off. Oh, really? I'm yeah. stuck. <laughs> hey, there we go. That took quite a bit of ump to slice through those things. These are not just your zip ties that you would get doing plumbing around the house. There we go. This one. People are driving by and looking. Ooh, hey, hey, that felt like it uh, zipped much easier. So these are the bigger loops. I would probably recommend these over the other ones because you might be having some people who you're putting in these things and they've got big, thick gorilla wrists. And it feels like I can access the mechanism a little better, but I would have to practice day in and day out in order to get out of these things in a quick, efficient manner. Hey, oh, I heard it click. Yeah. So of course, since the tails are longer, that means that someone could tighten these. So be sure to watch them to make sure they don't cut off their circulation on their wrist. If, if, if you don't mind. Hey! Awesome. Knife could cut through that. I am really, really curious about these because these are fairly hard to come by in the United States. Now these are sometimes called tough ties or rope handcuffs, but they're the same principle. It's a one-time use, you can't undo them. So let's go ahead and give them a try. Oh, nice, yeah, 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 we, we, could, we could fit a finger or two in there, so there's no circulation being cut off. But that's what it sort of looks like, like that. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, I felt them give a little bit. Ah, but they only gave like maybe a quarter inch. <laughs> ah, okay, now they're dug in. That's not going anywhere. Let's try to tighten these guys, see if we can. And that's actually more difficult. Huh. Yeah, oh, 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 you can, you, you can tighten these for sure because there's this remaining tail right here. So it's a, it's a lot more difficult in the initial get on than the other two. Hey, there we go, we're good. 
good. You might be stuck with this one, man. <laughs> oh, there we go. Hey, oh, there we go. Just, we just discovered something. So it is all one line, meaning that if you cut one of these, it undo, it undo, does the whole thing, if that makes sense. And thank you, sir. Yeah. I appreciate it. Hopefully this is edifying in determining whether or not one of these is right for you. In my humble personal opinion, I would rank the number one as this rope handcuff right here. This, I would say, is uh, probably the more difficult to put on because you don't have that pre-configured loop. However, for us normal people walking around, you could put these in your pocket or your purse or something like that because they crumble up into a small, small little fist like that. These on the other hand are very, very bulky. So maybe if you're in law enforcement, these will work for your particular use, but these, you could fit 30 of these in your cargo pockets and barely even notice. You can't say that with these plastic ones. So that's it, I hope that you've enjoyed this small, real world demonstration of these top three disposable handcuffs. My name is Bo Shevisu, catch you later.